third phase in physical examination is percussion uh, like a percussion instrument we are also percussing the uh, chest area the principle is same the, in the, the principle we see in percussion instrument uh, is identical with uh, the percussion of chest also uh, for the for percussion we are using uh, our both hands here the left middle finger left middle finger is placed over the intercostal area uh, we are placing like this and we have to tap the uh, middle fillings of the middle left middle finger with the right tip of the right middle finger like this you can hear the sound resonating sound is the normal resonance changing to a bit dull this is the area of liver this is the area of liver this is the area of normal dullness here also you will get a similar area that is the area of heart so in the percussion of chest you will get normal uh, resonance or uh, normal dullness in the area of heart or in the area of liver that's area of normal dullness the method is like this the movement should be at the wrist rather than at the elbow you should not do like this this hammering and you should not like this do like this and the percussion is also contraindicated in painful chest conditions and also in if you suspect carcinoma you should not do percussion if the patient is in intense pain or suffering from intense pain or if he suspect some carcinoma so as the contraindication doing percussion the method is like this and in, by doing this we can we may locate uh, fluid uh, presence or uh, we can feel dullness here so basically the change you get in percussion is normal reson normal resonance dullness and uh, hyper resonance uh, dullness you get in uh, if the, the lungs are uh, solidified or there is fluid collection uh, in the pleural cavity or if there is pulmonary fibrosis uh, or over tumors all this condition you know, all this situation you will get uh, dullness if the if there is fluid you will get an extreme uh, dullness that is called stony dullness so you get stony dullness in pleural effusion so uh, on the opposite side there is excessive air collection for example in emphysema or in pneumothorax you will get hyper resonance so uh, the point points we have to note in percussion is uh, note if it is normal normal resonance then a dullness then extreme dullness that is stony dullness or there is hyper resonance uh, then one more point we can add in per, uh, percussion is you may get a tympanatic note in chest tympanatic note you get usually in abdominal percussion so if there are if there are some intestinal structures uh, herniating into the chest field then you will get a tympanatic note so that's about percussion you can percuss in the lying position also sideways also and you can note the uh, shifting of the dull area so shifting dullness can happen in uh, pleural effusion so note for shifting dullness also in the lying posture so you have to percuss in the upright posture and then percuss in the uh, lying position so difference in the dull area indicates shifting dullness it happens in pleural effusion so that's about percussion